Bib alert, all you gear babies out there. Put those bibs on in TV land. I wouldn't want you to drool on this. Here we have a vintage 1965 deluxe reverb amp. This 20 watt combo was first introduced in 1964 and is commonly referred to as Many Guitarists Desert Island Amp because of its amazing sparkling Fender clean tones and a great sounding breakup at a manageable volume. In today's video, we're going to be looking at lesser known aspects of this amp, such as the differences in the tones between the two channels and also the differences between the inputs, one and two. But first, look into the lava light. You want to subscribe. You will subscribe. Okay, you tone junkies, the first thing we're going to be looking at with this amp are the differences between the normal side and the vibrato side. And I'm not talking about the effects. The vibrato side has two key differences. First being an extra gain stage to the circuit, and this is to make up for the signal loss when you have the reverb or vibrato effects engaged. This equates to more volume and definitely more breakup at higher volumes. The second has to do with the vibrato side's treble response. If you're familiar with larger Fender amps, such as a twin reverb, super reverb, etc., they have a bright switch on them, right? What that does is it introduces an extra capacitor into the circuit, which affects the treble response. On those larger amps, the capacitor has a value of 120 picofarads. Well, the vibrato side on this amp always has a capacitor with a volume of 47 picofarads on. So, you can think of it as a bright switch that's always on with a value of a little less than half of the normal bright switch on those larger amps, like I just said. So, at different volumes, let's compare how these two channels sound.
well, for fun, let's tweak the normal side's treble knob to try to make it match the vibrato side. One thing I often wonder about these Fender amps is why are there two inputs per side? I don't want to share it with another guitarist. Actually, it depends what kind of pickups you're using. Input number one is meant to be for single coil pickups. Input number two has an extra resistor for humbucking pickups and it lowers the gain of, of the second input by three to six decibels, which is about the cusp of human perception. So that's why I say input number one is a high input, no resistor. Input number two is a low input with an extra resistor, a little less gain. Can you tell the difference? I'd say the difference in the inputs is negligible. Could you tell any difference? Based upon the research and reading I've done online, almost no one knows what the two inputs are for, and almost everybody is plugging into the first input anyways, which is what I've always done. But maybe next time I'm in the studio, I'll check out the second input just for fun. Well guys, if you want me to do a full demo of this amp, feel free to comment below. Or you can reach out to me, John, at shredpro411 at gmail.com. Until the next time.